This work is about scaling inertial forces to alter weight perception in virtual reality. The authors of this paper are Jacob Sahaski, Susanna Martinez, and Allison Okamura of Stanford University. We experience both kinesthetic and cutaneous afferents during a grasp, lift, and place task. Skin deformation feedback tries to mimic the cutaneous interaction forces experienced when interacting with a virtual object. Our skin deformation devices are position controlled with three translational degrees of freedom composed of lateral and longitudinal shear directions and a normal to the finger pad direction with the ability to make and break contact with the finger pad. These devices are easily donned and doffed and use a magnetic tracker to measure both finger position and orientation in space. The bias spring tether transmission allows the motors to be placed on the back side of the finger. But these devices are prone to saturation due to limited motor power and lack of world grounded force feedback. So how can we increase the perceived weight we're able to convey using skin deformation devices without radical changes to hardware? To do just that, we decided to try scaling inertial forces. Scaling inertial forces allows us to convey more virtual weight by utilizing the motion of the virtual object in the horizontal degrees of freedom of the devices. This is done by increasing the virtual mass of the object by a scaling factor, SF in this case, and decreasing the virtual gravity by that same scaling factor. As you can see in the last equation, this keeps the virtual weight of the object the same while causing the virtual object to be perceived as heavier. In order to prevent any visual cues, the virtual object's mass and gravity are set to their original values when the user is not in contact with the virtual object. Here's an example with no scaled inertial forces. The green and blue lines represent the force output vectors commanded to the skin deformation devices due to the interaction with the virtual object. Here's an example with scaled inertial forces using a scaling factor of 5. Notice how the green and blue lines representing the force output vectors have larger components opposing the motion of the virtual object. This is what causes the virtual object to be perceived as heavier. A user study was conducted which showed that scaling inertial forces does have an effect on the perceived weight of the virtual object during a grasp, lift, and place task. Thank you for your time, and feel free to stop by my poster if you have any questions.